So we're going to be looking at our next uh, Girls and Panzer kit. Uh, this time it's Platt's reboxing of Dragon's 135th scale IS-2 heavy tank. Let's open her on up. So starting off with the sprue containing the suspension and wheels um everything's very cleanly cast um a lot of little hand holds that will be a little bit of a challenge to cut out though as i've personally found on a lot of these kits that these hand holds really do not hold up so you may want to uh, have some wire standing by to potentially replace them if need be you know uh other than that though casting is great for all all of this suspension parts um a lot of wheels on this kit nice large drive wheel as well uh continuing on we've got our main gun uh the cast is two halves uh no metal barrel with this release unfortunately but it still holds up um part of the Coppola for the commander's turret, hatches, and a couple of other odd and in pirates, as well as the aft machine gun. Next up, we've got our main turret. Um, this particular copy had a little bit of bad casting here. Um, easy enough to clean up, though. Uh, turret has some very nicely done uh, casting uh, simulation on it. Uh, you've got two different mantle options uh, for this particular kit using this pair. Overall, nicely done for the turret. Uh, next up, we've got our upper hole. Uh, unfortunately, it popped off from the main sprue that it's attached to. Uh, much the same as the turret, the casting is very nicely done. And overall, it has a great look to it. Uh, underside suspension, nicely detailed. Uh, it can't say much more here as it's your standard underside suspension. Now the rest of that spur that I had mentioned that the upper hold popped off of. Got our aft bulkhead for the main body, some vents and other sort of odd and in detail parts. Again, not. A, whole lot to say there. Now an interesting about this kit is that it does include these tra new tracks from Dragon. So I can get a pair of them out that are basically snapped together and should be good to go as they're supposedly easier to work with. Um, obviously I have to wait and see. To, uh, I have fairly sizable length going but in theory uh, should work and just from a little bit of playing around they do do what they are advertised to do so that's a nice little addition uh, next up we've got our decal sheet um, a little disappointed with the flag uh, decals as they're a lot darker than they really should be um, I'm thinking that since main color on tank is a white that once you apply them they'll brighten up a little bit with the uh, backlighting but other than that uh, they're nice and crisp decals and nicely printed um, surprisingly not a lot to really critique on this kit um, they, it's pretty simple surprisingly so oh, cracking open the instructions um, I would say most of the challenge with this kit's going to be in building up the suspension just because it's a little bit time consuming. But surprisingly, other than a dealing with a lot of smaller parts, it's a pretty straightforward and easy build, uh, which is quite nice. Um, one exception as well, though, being right here. Um, they want you to cut open for the uh, spare tr Act links these little teeth marks now this is something you would have thought they would have um, cast into the upper surface just to make it simpler to use honestly I think they did so you have the option of whether or not you're going to go with them but it would have been nice had they um, 
either given you a separate whole piece or um, done it themselves. But overall, uh, it's a surprisingly simple build. Uh, no real surprises. Uh, only options for a single paint scheme, uh, which is a little disappointing because I do know uh, with the release of the movie, they do have the ice too, and they sort of uh, the sort of summer summer color excuse me summer camouflage version, which is basically an overall green Russian green color. And since this kit was released post that, I, you would have thought they had given you the at least the paint call out option for that. So overall, um, they did a good job with this kit. It's surprisingly simple and should be a fun, quick, relatively quick and pain this build. So that was a look at uh, Platz's reboxing of Dragon's 135th scale IS2 in girls and pens markings. Until next time.